This is Roomba Vex. It's a Roomba vacuum with a Cortex controller mounted on it and a cable going from the UART1 port of the Cortex to the control port of the Roomba. A hole is drilled through the bezel to make, make room for the connector to, to enter the control connector. The VEX game controller is powered off an auxiliary battery to, for life and uh, can instruct the Cortex to drive the Roomba or can tell the Cortex to begin autonomous control of the Roomba. We can start the program running by telling it to connect and it beeps to tell that it's connected and at that point it's under teleoperating teleoperation mode and you can steer it and drive it. There's also a uh, autonomous mode which does a bump turn algorithm activated by the front button. We'll click it and away it goes. The Roomba runs for a while until it either hits something in which case it backs off and does a random turn and it heads in a new direction or after it's run for a certain amount of time it will uh, do a surveillance spin and look around to see what it can see. The surveillance spin. This is the basic bump turn mode. Adding to that, we can mount a video, a web, a, a chumbi with a video webcam on it. Now we're adding the Chumbi to provide surveillance webcam access. This is a regular Chumbi, but slightly modified by adding a USB hub on the back to allow us to connect an, a, a Wi-Fi card and a webcam. The Wi-Fi card is not, USB Wi-Fi card is not mandatory but it's desirable if your Wi-Fi signal strength is low because the Wi-Fi card that comes pre-installed in Chumbi is, uh, doesn't have very good reception. So I, I added a, a, a high strength uh, Wi-Fi receiver. To install it we simply sit the Sit the Chumbi on top of the Roomba and plug the webcam in, mount the webcam on a Velcro and load the software as described in the article. Now we're ready to watch Chumbi as, uh, watch the video from Chumbi as Roomba does its surveillance. In this configuration Roomba has the Chumbi on it and the Chumbi is powered off of a 16 volt to 5 volt converter inside this box of electronics. It pulls 16 volts off the Roomba battery and provides stable power for the Chumbi. The Chumbi is wired to the webcam mounted on the front of the robot. 
We'll uh, send Chumbi on his way.